Welcome to 2021 Season of Light Hanukkah section. I want to welcome everybody who's streamed in thousands of soldiers across the globe from the Colorado National Guard and beyond who have streamed in to watch this fantastic section on the beautiful festival of light called Hanukkah. I want to welcome our senior army chaplain for the Colorado National Guard, Chaplain Nagel. Welcome everyone, so glad you're here. And of course my colleague Chaplain DeClay from the Colorado National Guard. Hi there, Chaplain. <clears throat> welcome everybody. I want to share a couple of words about the significance of this festival. And we are so happy that we can celebrate with everybody at this particular time as a component of the season of light. Hanukkah really represents what we are all going through and what we all aspire to as well. Hanukkah celebrates the miracle of a small group of people who overcame overwhelming odds through faith and belief and they went in to a desecrated temple to light the menorah and they could not find enough oil to light the menorah and they found one cruise of oil which would have been enough for one night but it lasted eight nights and ever since then we celebrate Hanukkah in the same way and of course it represents a very powerful message in our lives that no matter what a person might be facing the difficulties the challenges both on a personal level or on a communal or even on a global level as we know it's been a difficult time for people we must remember that a miracle is waiting around the corner the power of light is such that a small amount of light can overcome a tremendous amount of darkness and in the Colorado National Guard in particular as soldiers that you are standing up for freedom and liberty this is the message of Hanukkah I thank you all wherever you are Jewish soldiers throughout the globe we are here to celebrate with you. We have the incredible support of the chaplain team and everyone in the Colorado National Guard. We want to help you shine your light a little brighter so it shines the world a little brighter and fills it with the light of goodness and kindness that we all need. Thank you so much for your service. Happy Hanukkah and happy holidays in whichever way you celebrate it. I'm going to give over the mic to our wonderful senior army chaplain for the Colorado National Guard, Chaplain Nagel. If you're there, Big warm round of applause, please. <laughs> Chaplain Gorelick, we're so glad that you're here with us today as we do kick off the season of light. Next week, for the Christians in our ranks, we'll celebrate Christmas, but for today, we really wanted to have this opportunity. Chaplain Gorelick is one of our shepherds on our team. We're so thankful that God has brought him to us to love on our soldiers and their families and to walk with him through this season. That's what the Chaplain Corps is here for. We know life can throw a lot of curveballs at you, and we're here as a listening ear, a confident place for you to process those ups and downs but hope is what we're all about hope in the dark times and I think Hanukkah as I learn more about it that is a big part of that message that light overcomes the darkness so today would you help us let us allow be partners with you as you light these candles to, together yes sir and it's a tremendous honor and I want to just share over 70 plus years ago my grandfather in the Second World War spent four years fighting the Germans and he wanted to light the menorah and his fellow non-Jewish soldiers supported him because he weren't allowed a light a light on the front and they gathered around him in order to block the light so he could light the menorah. Wow. So it is such an honor now to have the support of the wider community. And I know that every Jewish soldier out there is seeing this and is warming their heart mm. as well as any soldier to watch this celebration and season of light. So thank you, Chaplain Lager. We're going to ask you as the senior army chaplain if you could light what's called the shamash, which is the central light. And we're very thankful that Chaplain De Clay is very tall and she'll be able to help us lift that flame. All right. Here we go. We're deeply honored to participate with you. Thank you, sir. Chaplain, you're lighting up the world for the Colorado National Guard and for soldiers everywhere. Beautiful. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you, Chaplain DeClay. <clears throat> so, join me if you're familiar with the Hebrew or the English, I'll translate it, blessings that we make as we light the menorah. Today is the third day of Hanukkah, so we're going to light three candles, and Chaplain de Clay is going to help us here. Chaplain Nagel, I know your Hebrew's been improving, so work with me here. <laughs> Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam Asher kiddishanu b'mitzvah hosam V'tzivanu lahadlik ner Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord King of the universe, who has commanded us to light the lights of the menorah and all that they represent. The next blessing talks about the miracles that we have in our own lives that we just need to open up our eyes to see. Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokeinu Melech Olam, Sha'asa Nisim Lavoteinu, Bayamim Haim Ebizman Hazeh. Blessed are you, Lord King of the Universe, who has done miracles for our forefathers, allowing us to be here, and does miracles for us today. Are you ready, Chaplain the Clay? Yes. All right, here we go. We're going to do three candles for the third day of Hanukkah. One. We need a drum roll. <laughs> All right. Number two. As you can see, every day of Hanukkah we light an additional candle, and that's the idea. One must never suffice with the hope and the joy of the day before, but increase every day as you can. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Chaplain De Clay. And we've got a very special treat for you. <clears throat> Chaplain Nagel is well known for his musical abilities, and he has agreed without any... Any practice to join me in singing a dreidel song? Let's do it. Let's All do it right. together. I want to show everybody this dreidel. It's been a wonderful Jewish tradition to play dreidel. It originates... Now, the, better to get a dreidel that doesn't break on you, but this originates where the children would whip out these little spin tops in order when the Romans, the, the Greek soldiers would come to check to see if they were studying Torah. It's a wonderful game. Some people play it for high stakes even. All right. Are you ready, sir? Let's do it. All right, a one, two, one, two, three. I have a little dreidel, I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, oh dreidel, I shall play. Oh dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. And when you're dry and ready, oh dreidel, I shall play. It has a lovely body with legs so short and thin. And when it gets all tired, it, it drops, drops and then I win. win. Oh, dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. And when you're dry and ready, oh, dreidel, I shall play. Beautiful. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for Season of Lights.